But to we're gonna move on to what to a mat, one of the matches from from September six night three, and it was from Romo and Shingo taking on Kenta and El Fantasmo, and the feud. The main feud is Shaka, uh, Shingo Takagi taking on El Fantasmo, <laughs> and it's been an interesting feud to say the least. Yeah, yeah, to say the absolute least. Shingo's daddy, um, you know that. Mm. I mean, interesting T-shirt to to say the absolute least. That well, the well, haircut. E L E L P Daddy, I think, is yeah. the shirt, and <laughs> so, like. To see a couple of things he did on a couple of nights, because I think he literally had like the putting like the shirt on him and like m- making him be a baby at one point. It was just like like oh, it's almost a joke feud, and yeah. it makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> but you know, knowing ELP and knowing how he is, um, mm. this is exactly the kind of shenanigans that I do expect out of him. Um, that Shingo is kind of taking it with such, I, I don't want to say grace, but I don't know what other word we could really use for it. it. it it's as much grace as, as you can say in this situation, but as uh, a former IWGP heavyweight champion, it, again, but, it, it's all going to lead to a king of pro wrestling provisional championship match which mm-hmm. in reality the KOPW championship other than like since Takagi's won it I've actually respected it a little more because of some of the stuff mm-hmm. him and Taichi were doing with it. Mm-hmm. It, it it but in the end it's kind of a joke. Uh it, mm-hmm. it, it, it really is and you can see it them kind of going towards more the jokey end of it in mm-hmm. this feud right so it makes me sad because of how good the KOPW was, and now it's back to being the sideshow. Yeah, yeah. We got to remember that the KOPW championship t- trophy thing was created by Yano, and Yano is kind of the epitome of joke. Well, well technically, it was created <laughs> by Okada. Okada technically was the one that came up with this. That's true, and, but Yano but was the first. Yano show. was their initial winner for the first two years. So, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, still, we have it, had some less jokey um, winners in that before, like or since then, like Shingo Takagi, like Chase Owens, like Tai Chi. Chase um, uh, to a point, though. <laughs> I'm interested to see because the KOPW Championship it does have um, special, you know, things that you can or like special. Um, what's the word? Stipulations. That's the one yeah. um, that that you can put onto it. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point what they're building it up to be with with the you know Shingo's daddy and him putting things on him you know subsequently um Shingo <laughs> bending ELP over and giving him a little bit of a spanking the other night yeah. you know mm-hmm. i suspect that that the that the feud that they're building is going to end up having some kind of something in in how the match ends yeah. up i don't know if i'm excited about it yet but I do like both of these competitors. I, I, I have confidence in them. So yeah, I think it's going to be a good match in the end. But it we'll see what happens, is more or less. And let's just also throw a quick shout out to Kenta and his brilliant oh. marketing scheme. <laughs> How amazing that nothing gets people more interested in your book than you just smashing them in the face with it. It's it's not just a book; <laughs> it's a weapon. Just remember, it's not just a book, it's a weapon. And it's a <laughs> series of paper cuts. The Just the creativity that he's had in promoting his book, getting the crowd involved, getting his partners involved. Yep. Just, yep. His good job. Involved. Be like Kenta. <laughs> be, like, be, be like Kenta when you're advertising your book. 